What is this? Mm -mm. This is live pictures right now from Mount Washington <laughs> where it snowed at 10 inches last night. Whoa. Yeah. Get ready. They said that they've got uh, some really big drifts there too. 12 degrees with a wind chill of minus 19. Guys, look at the wind. Please look at the wind. 102 miles per hour. It's like a different planet up there though, but it does show you how chilly this air mass is. And we're gonna stick with that for another day tomorrow before temperatures rebound briefly. One of these days is not like the others. It's Thursday. After Thursday, we'll get a round of rain through here may be ending as a few flakes. Best chance for that would be in the hills, followed by cooler temperatures yet again, heading into Friday and this upcoming weekend. Taking a look at the satellite and radar, most of us are quiet. There is a chance for a sprinkle or flurry out there, especially in northwestern Connecticut. Most of this moisture is going to stay to the north. I just can't rule it out for a couple towns. Right now we're looking at temperatures that are in the 40s to right around 50 degrees. Again, it was not bad out there if you didn't mind the chill, but it's going to get even closer colder out there for us tonight with just about everybody dropping back into the 20s. We'll say overnight lows between 25 to right around 30 degrees, closer to 30 for the Connecticut shoreline with frost as we head towards daybreak. Heading into your Wednesday, we'll start the day off with sunshine, then we'll see increasing clouds. High temperatures will be in the mid 40s to right around 50 degrees as we head through the afternoon. And then here's your bonus warmer day on Thursday. Uh, maybe you just wanted to get outside and get some stuff done without a heavy jacket on. Thursday's your day to do that, and we'll see some rain develop as we head into the evening. So I wanted to show you Thursday because tomorrow is quiet. So here's that sunshine to start off the day. More clouds as we head through the afternoon. And notice this is going to be after the evening commute. We're going to bring some rain in here, and there's just enough cool air, again, that we might be able to see that change over here before you wake up on Friday. By Friday morning, we are back to sunshine, but temperatures are going to be much cooler. And we'll obviously keep an eye on the timing of that exit because there is still a chance that there could be something around first thing around daybreak on Friday. Right now we're looking quiet through the weekend. There is a chance for a late day shower, but now I'm thinking it might be able to hold off until Sunday night. A complex weather setup Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week with a few different disturbances that are going to be around in the northeast. Right now we're thinking rain is a pretty good bet on Monday. That might be able to transition over to some snow snowflakes if we can kind of get this thing in the right orientation as we head into Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. It is definitely worth watching. We'll talk more about it coming up in just a bit, guys.